if you are still in doubts, here is a firing evidence. At the Dangote Refinery Complex, the fertilizer plant is undergoing a test run. The people are saying, they say put your money where your mouth is. The CBN governor is visiting the complex seven times the size of Victoria Island to examine the extent of work these years. Inch by inch, columns by columns, thousands of hours of manpower. The complex is fast standing as a colossus. For over three hours, they crisscrossed the breadth and length of the three-in-one complex, including the built-up jetty. This project is so strategically positioned that it will even make the final cost, of the final price of petroleum within, within, within Nigeria, even outside, outside Nigeria, to even be lower than those import alternatives that come from different parts of the world. We will want to support any Nigerian or any foreigner who feels that he finds Nigeria as a good investment destination, whatever we need to do to help you, we will do it. The audacious move by Africa's richest man is not without immense benefit to Nigeria and the international market. Nigeria now will become the biggest uh, and maybe even only urea exporter country in sub-Saharan Africa for the first time. Nigeria will end up between us and uh, Indorama is going to be almost about four and a half to five million tons of urea. Okay, I mean, which means fertilizer. Number two, we will have uh, polypropylene, polyethylene, which is about 1.3 billion. These two products alone will bring in something like about two uh, and a half billion, I mean, dollars in terms of foreign exchange. Everything plastic based requirement that Nigeria may need will meet in March here. Every fertilizer need, and indeed enough to cut for the petroleum product needs. This complex is well calibrated to respond.